Good evening. Welcome to another edition of the 411 Talk Song Radio Show Red Pill Edition. My name is Leon Jones. Tonight, I'm going to focus on what men need to do. Now, the title of this video is Men, We Should Be Focused on Ourselves. Now, why do I say that? Well, there are a lot of MGTOW videos going around. Now, first of all, I do not consider myself a MGTOW. I consider myself Red Pill. So you won't see me use the MGTOW label on any of my videos. Because number one, I don't hate women. And when I address anything about women, it's about their behavior. It's about them being indoctrinated by feminism. And what I'm fighting for is we need to combat feminism, Marxism, and communism, and all the other isms that extract resources from us and give to other people who don't deserve it. Now, during this last election, you had a lot of women on a Democratic side who were elected to Congress. Now, for the most part, the one with the biggest mouth out there is Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. She's from the Bronx. Now, she's very dangerous in her rhetoric because she's young, and a number of these young women have an entitlement complex. They think everything should be free. But the bottom line, in the real world, nothing's free. But as men, we have to stop focusing so much on trying to impress women. Because all we're doing is wasting our time doing it. See, a number of you young guys who call yourselves MGTOWs, are really incels who are bitter about women. See, it's not about hating women. What you have to do, even if you go your own way, you can't leave a void because there's something that's going to come in and fill that void and what's going to come in and hit all of us at light speed, and it's already here, believe it or not, is socialism, communism, and Marxism. And see, it's not women who actually benefit from communism, Marxism, and socialism. It's not. But they sure love it because they do get a lot of government protection. It's the elites, and I said this a long time ago in a video. See, the elite men, they want to use women to try to control men like us so we don't take their power. Because in most socialist or communist regimes, the government or the bureaucrats are rich. And what they do, they try to take what you have, such as your land, by force, and they try to distribute it around to everybody else so everybody gets an equal piece of the pie, even if they didn't earn it. See, what feminism has done, feminism has diluted the family. Feminism has diluted education. Feminism has diluted the media, religion, and even government jobs. Now, right now, as men, when it comes to being red pill, you have to be wise. And if you don't understand MGTOW, IBMOR, and SYSBM, there are a number of sources out there that you need to listen to because once you understand the concept, it's going to be easy for you to travel a road that seems lonely. Now, what I'm saying to all of you guys, particularly to you young guys, is you have to listen. 
the standard operating procedure for becoming a red pill is you have to get out of your feelings. Certainly, we've all been done wrong by women. But what we really have to focus on is politics, voting with our feet. Because without men, we're going to lose this country. And what we should really be fighting for is our freedom. See, these leftist policies are destroying all of us. But a lot of us don't understand what the leftist policies are because we're distracted by what's on television, by images on Instagram, by social media. Now, remember I said something a long time ago and I talked about the five power conferences of society? Well, if you think about it, your education, first of all, as a man, I will not advise any of you to go to college unless you go for a trade or STEM. College has indoctrinated so many people, and it's not just women. It's men who are also deluded. You have some men who are calling themselves male feminists. Now, to me, that's an oxymoron. How are you going to be a male feminist? You're just a traitor because what you're doing, you're basically simping out for women who are misandrous. They don't care about you. Now, I'm not saying all women dislike men, but a number of women in this country and in the Western society have been indoctrinated by feminism. Feminism is very dangerous. And you have women who don't even understand feminism, but they call themselves feminists. And you have men who are doing the same thing. It's just like MGTOW. Now, MGTOW is a philosophy. It is not a political movement. Now, there's some people who are calling it a movement. Again, to be red pill, you have to have wisdom. You have to understand what's going on around you in the world. And it's not just about women. You have to look at the media, education, religion, corporations, and of course, private sector jobs. Now, let's take a commercial. And I use Gillette products, which after Gillette suggested that we're bigots and we're filled with toxic masculinity, well, it's time to vote with our feet, dump Gillette. I mean, I've used Gillette products for years. Now, there are a number of videos from heavy hitters out here, and I'll let the heavy hitters handle Gillette, but they're going to take on Gillette because Gillette has basically thrown men under the bus. And if it's feminists who are doing it, a lot of you feminists don't shave anyway. I've seen a number of you with hairy armpits, hairy legs. Most of you feminists are unattractive anyway. So if you had a hand in Gillette calling men bigots and to toxic masculinity, then you're at fault. And sooner or later, you feminists, you're going to have your day too. In fact, some of you who are looking for food stamps, well, Donald Trump has his way. You're going to be starving like Marvin. See, I'm not. I got a job. But I'm going to move on. When it comes to men, you have to look at the five powers of society that are being dominated by Marxism. First, again, let's talk about education. Do not go to college. College is being run by feminists. If you look at curriculums, they already have a Marxist agenda. Most of the programs, particularly in the social science area, they're trying to recruit you into being a social justice warrior. Your best bet, save your money, learn a trade like plumbing, heating and ventilation and air conditioning, refrigeration, be an electrician, you can make lots of money. You work with your hands, and you don't have to deal with the college curriculums. 
College right now is a waste of time unless you go to college to be an engineer or a doctor or a lawyer. We have too many lawyers. Look out for social media. It's a lot of propaganda, particularly about men. A lot of misandry on social media and on YouTube. There are a lot of anti-male commercials. Look out for the anti-male commercials. Again, you have a number of commercials out here that make men look like bubbling idiots or bumbling idiots and women who look intelligent. You switch the roles, that commercial would be off air. If you had an all-male talk show on mainstream media, it wouldn't last a day. But we have too many double standards. But again, I can't blame women for the double standards. I have to blame the individuals or the media moguls who are running the media. They put women in charge so they won't be threatened because, again, like I said before, men will try to take you out because a man is a threat to another man. A woman is not a threat to another woman unless she's directed by the man to control that man. And she's going to be directed by the elite man to utilize the court system because, again, the elite men don't want other men to have any power. And that's why the elite men use women to control men. They're doing it through the welfare system. They're doing it through the education system, even religion. A number of men are afraid to go after this pastor, particularly black men. They won't go after this black pastor. They're afraid of this black pastor. This black pastor, and I'm not saying all of them, but a number of them, they're extortionists. But your brothers won't go after that black pastor. When it comes to government, you got to vote with your feet. See, what women did, they got out and voted this time. I bet you a number of men stayed home. See, another problem, too, that the MGTOWs might not understand is you got men standing in your way. And I'm talking about the cucks, the white knights, the simps, the eunuchs, and the manginas. These are the guys that are looking for women to validate them. So what they're doing, they're like your workplace snitches. You know, when you go to work every day, you do your job, you always have somebody that's trying to snitch so they get the upper hand on you. In other words, they're kissing butt to become powerful. Well, that's what these traitorous men are doing. They're looking for the validation from women. But what happens when they do the dirty work for women, women throw them under the bus as well. But these guys don't know it because they're too naive. Because they think they're going to get something from these women. And what they think they're going to get is sex from a woman. They're going to get nothing. But you also have to beware of what's going on in your workplace. Understand the sexual harassment laws. Document everything at work. If you're going to deal with anybody at work, deal with them for business only. That's it. Don't bring your personal life to work. Because at the end of the day, it's not going to help you. It's going to hurt you. You have a lot of gossip going on at work. And also, if you have a government job where you deal with government, you got to understand that government is bureaucracy. Your government jobs are good. But to serve the public doesn't mean you have to stay there for a lifetime. You do yourself three to five years and you get out. 
Now, of course, government has better benefits than a lot of private sector jobs, but you can find good private sector jobs out there. But at the end of the day, if you understand that Marxism is a cancer to the five powers of society that I told you about, and I'm talking about education, media, corporate jobs, religion, and government, you're going to have an easier time getting through life. See, part of being red pill is having wisdom. This is why I urge you to listen to videos from C. Boogie, Sandman, Paul Elam, Barbarossa, Hammerhand, Iman67, Coach Greg Adams, Mr. Elite, Thomas Lundy, Undead Chronic. See, these are guys who have been around the red pill sector for a long time. You want guys who are going to give you wisdom. Don't listen to the angry guys. Because these angry guys, they're just upset because they can't get women. Women shouldn't be our focus. Again, hating women is not going to give you the wisdom of being a red pill man. It's just going to continue to keep you angry. And having anger is a destructive emotion. You have to utilize that anger into something positive. Understanding the red pill philosophy is very positive. Because when you are red pill, you don't have to deal with the matriarchy. It's much easier for you to sidestep the matriarchy. Because again... When it comes to men, a lot of us hurt our own selves, particularly black men. Because we do each other in, because we don't know how to communicate with one another. We're always trying to one-up one another. We don't stick together. At least women do stick together, even if the cause is wrong. We don't. So what we need to do has become more educated. And when I say educated, we need to understand the political system, the ideology. We know we live in a gynocracy. We know there's misandry out there. Misandry is the hatred of men. But for you young guys who are angry at women, being a misogynist is not going to help you. Being wise is going to help you. Understanding the goals of feminism, communism, socialism, and Marxism. See, that's what I'm fighting. Because those ideologies will cut off your freedoms. I don't want to live in a tyrannical world. Because right now, you have a number of leftists. And since the 1960s, the world is been going more and more left. The problem with that is you give the government too much power. And when they have too much power, they enact policies that take away a lot of rights. So being a red pill man, number one, yes, you have to understand the nature of women, but you really got to understand what's going on around the world in your own city. Because it's the elites that are trying to take everything away from us. And they're using women. Because the elites don't want to be threatened. You know in the days when the peasants got tired of being pushed around by the king? They'd go kill the king. Well the elite men at the top feel the same way. So they have to have a buffer. And women are the buffer. Now, again, I don't hate women. And when I talk to women, I tell them about their behavior. Their behavior is destructive, and that's not all of them. See, I'm doing this video 
because I want men to get wisdom. See, being MGTOW or IBMOR, SYSBM, and even Red Pill, it's easy to carry the acronym on your back, but you have to understand what the acronym means because you have a number of women out there who claim they're feminists and they don't even know what feminism is. They just hear another woman say it and sounds good. But you have to understand the philosophy if you're going to make it work. And you can't be wishy-washy. That's the bottom line. Remember something. MRAs, MGTOW, Red Pill, SYSBM, IBMORE, they're philosophies. They're philosophies. And when I say men going their own way, it's not going ghost. Because you really can't go ghost. Because again, if you go ghost, there's going to be something to fill that void. And that void is going to be socialism and communism. And also, when it comes to jobs, don't say there are no jobs out there, brothers, of all races. Because the minute you say that, they're going to fill that position with a woman. And then you're going to complain about women taking your jobs. See, the wisdom is finding opportunities for yourself and sealing the deal. And that's what being red pill is all about. That's what going your own way is all about. It's about fulfilling your desires. And you're not being selfish about it. In order for any society to work, you got to have strong men. And there are too many men out here who have been weakened by women, particularly the moms. Well, if you think about it, all these ideologies that stem from Marxism and communism are all by design. See, women don't have the power that they think they do. Women only have power that men give them. So when they tell you about being strong and independent, they really aren't. They're dependent on government. They just don't need you to finance them anything until a divorce comes. Or your taxes are taken from you and distributed to them or redistributed to them through government programs. See, a number of women, you have to understand, they believe in a welfare state. Men were raised to be responsible. Women aren't. And you can't fault women for that. And see, to men out there who are being traitors... You can't go along with women to get along. Because at the end of the day, they're going to use you as well. But women are getting their direction from the elite men. See, the elite men know that women aren't a threat. But they know that other men are a threat. Because other men can take their power from them. And see, being a red pill man, I understand that. Because this is what the real world is about. Men have to go through challenges every day. That's why a world without men will be a world that will no longer exist. And if you don't believe me, you look around you. The black community is the first place to start. You don't have too many men in the black community. That's why there are a lot of ghettos, a lot of blighted areas. Because the system has taken men out of the picture. And it's allowed women to live off the government. And without strong men or strong men Your society will collapse. And that's my commentary for this edition of the 401 Talk Zone Radio Show. If you like what you just heard, please comment, share, and subscribe. Once again, my name is Leon Jones. I'm out.